Lumber liquidators. The Food and Drug Administration today refusing to admit mistakes were made in its handling of this country's worst seminal outbreak in a decade. Yesterday, the FDA did admit what we've been reporting here for more than a month, that the source of the salmonella outbreak is indeed Mexico. That admission coming as the number of people sickened, climbing to more than 1,300 across 43 states in Washington, D.C. The actual number, because there is a 30 to 40 multiplier against officially reported cases, could amount to 30 to 40,000 Americans. Finally, after dozens of reports here and thousands of your emails to us, and to Congress, Congress took action. Luis Schiavone has the latest. The Food and Drug Administration was in the hot seat for a second day on Capitol Hill, under fire for a salmonella outbreak ongoing for three and a half months. You don't have to be a detective to know that the initial investigation didn't really help anybody. So far, the outbreak has triggered more than 1,300 recorded illnesses with more cases still coming in and 100 million dollars or more in losses to U.S. tomato growers all the while say several lawmakers the wrong produce targeted. So far the evidence of the outbreak bacteria has been found only on peppers and irrigation water in Mexico. On the Lou Dobbs show when the commentator asked the reporter well what are you what is the FDA recommending that consumers do to protect themselves we didn't have the even the ability to say no more imported peppers. In repeated exchanges, the FDA's David Atchison would not retreat from the government's first implication of tomatoes. So why don't you clear the tomato? At this point, there is nothing for FDA to say that would indicate that the, the evidence that CDC and the states generated early on in this investigation is incorrect. The FDA and the Centers for Disease Control insisted their questionnaires established an unmistakable early link to tomatoes. Questionnaires which early on asked lots of questions about tomatoes, but nothing about jalapenos or serranos. For example, this CDC outbreak questionnaire obtained by Lou Dobbs tonight goes on at length about tomatoes asking, did you eat any raw, uncooked tomatoes? Did you eat raw tomatoes as part of fresh salsa, guacamole, or pico de gallo? That form never asked one question about peppers, and I'm wondering why. Now, I will tell you as someone who myself is from the Southwest, I never made salsa without putting peppers in it. The CDC promised to look into it.